where's my other cup? Honey, come on in this room, baby. And when you get in here, hit share, okay? I said, come on in the room. I come on in the room. Hey, hey, Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my prescriptions. And he brings me all of my medicine in my room. Mm, baby, come on in this room, honey. When you get in here, go hit that share button, okay? How is y'all doing? Thank you, Diane, honey. You see, I done pulled Donna back today, honey. Honey, Donna was getting in my little face. But really, my skin was itching. I don't know if... uh. Well, I was out there in New York, if I, if my skin didn't agree with the water or I did forget my soap and had to use some hotel soap and I usually don't do that. Um, although I don't put it on my face, but I don't know, something has broke me out. Now it could also be, I know that when I eat too much chocolate, uh-huh, I know this, that sometime I do break out. And I may or may not have yesterday ate a whole a whole cookie from Champ's Diner. They forced it upon me, okay? Uh, they said, eat this or else. Um, that's a lie. Lord, I forgive me. No, they didn't. No one forced me, honey, but this, the chocolate chips in there, them cacao chips, whatever, the cookie is about as big as my head. And I kept on pinching. I, kept, I said, I'm going to just take a little pinch off of it. I'm going to just pinch on Honey, I had took my last pinch and realized, honey, I only had a pinch left. So that also could be why I'm, my face feeling kind of itchy today and got a couple little bumps on there. So, honey, I said, oh, let me just pull Donna on back today. Honey, look at Donna. Hey, girl. Yeah. Honey, how y'all doing? Hey, Annette. Happy Sunday to you, girl. Uh, hey, Connie. How you doing? Oh, Valerie, honey, you ate good today, honey. You did some uh, pecan tacos. Honey, I know that you ate good, okay? Shamika, do you see Donna with the puff? Honey. Hey, hey, look, ooh, 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 hey, hey, go Donna, hey, hey, go Donna. It's like a cheerleader puff, right? Honey, didn't it take me back a little bit? Yeah. How old is Donna today, honey? Donna look like she's about 15 today, girl. Go ahead, Donna. When my husband saw me, he said, you old. You look like the old tab. Because this is how, how my hair was when me and him, we was about, probably like 19, 20, I used to wear my hair like this right here. I said, oh, that mean. Hey, Choice. See, I was about to be ugly. I was about to be ugly. I was good to be, well, not ugly, but grown. Hey, girl. She just came back from giving Blackie a little walk. Would you like to say hey to the to the people, girl? Hey. Hey, Choice. Yeah. Choice, look how much we looking like with my hair pulled back, girl. Come here. <laughs> Come here, girl. Look. We don't even look alike. Yeah. Why does why why does um smile look forced? Didn't you miss me? Yeah, girl. Sick. Oh oh, I forgot you you you, you did say your throat was. Oh, that was just that little um drink daddy left for me. But no, you you cannot drink after me or drink nothing around me, and I I can't drink can I nothing with you tonight, honey. Not good? with that throat. You said your throat is hurting. Is this good? Can I have one? I wouldn't. Uh, here, put, pour you one in a cup. Um, anywho, here we are. Uh, I missed y'all. How y'all doing? Um, so, y'all know this weekend I was in New York, honey. And I ate this right here for the first time. Tab, what is that? A sword? Honey, this right here? It's, <laughs> it, it feels like it because it, it would slice the devil because the Holy Spirit has got to live inside of here. Okay? This is a burdock root. Now, I done went straight to the market. I could not get it out of my mind. If y'all saw the plate, excuse me, Friday, I went to Season Vegan. They got this thing wrapped up. I went to Season Vegan, and I ordered the barbecue crawfish, right? And it was made out of burdock root. Now, I had never had that before. Never did. Never had had. Never had heard of Did y'all let it fly? I, I, now, I had kids to fly, but I, did I just see a fly in here with oh. Well, please don't tell me y'all let it fly in here Mom, when you open the door. We did this. You was imagining things. Oh, I, 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 mm, 
Toys, get that floss water. Mama. Toys. I didn't let it in on purpose. Y'all know I don't like apply. I don't. So anywho, uh, I got I, I got the barbecue um, uh, crawfish sandwich made out of burdock root. Honey, when I first of all, I, I took a little piece of the burdock root, put it in my mouth first, cause it, it was just a little piece of barbecue. It, it looked like meat, right? Honey, the taste sent me to a different atmosphere, uh, or is it stratosphere? One or the other. It sent me to both of them. But when I bit into that sandwich, my God, my God, I've been thinking about it ever since. So then I got the looking. That night, I was at the hotel, honey, couldn't even sleep thinking about that burdock root. I said, why, Lord, did I not know about it? Who is burdock? Where, where is he from? Uh, and what does he do for a living now? Uh, so I Googled and looked it up. Uh, they said the chef, you know, wouldn't give up the recipe. And of course, as she shouldn't. Um, so I said, well, I got to figure this out. So I looked up a couple of different recipes and, and ways to cook it, rather. Because it's more so in the Asian community. And they said, you can go to an Asian market and find it. See the Honey, it almost looked like long fingers, honey. Long fingers. Honey, I can only imagine. Because I got three three bushes or whatever. Three, three pieces of these. I can only imagine, honey, it's like the Lord's hand. Because his hand real long, I'm sure, right? Honey, this is him, honey, touching my soul. Because this thing is good. Now, I'm going to attempt, okay, um, with your help in prayer. Uh, to make this tonight, all right? Because I really, 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 really want to make it right, okay? I want it to, to come out good because everybody that I have seen that talked about it when I posted, I got to find some burdock root. Everybody said that they tried it. The people that said that they've tried it said that it did not come out right, that they can't get it right, that the taste don't taste right. It ain't the same. So we're going we gonna to pray about it. And we're going to see if the Lord, okay, is going to allow me to get that, Honey, if I could just get the texture. That's all I need. I need the texture because it had got just enough chew in it. Like, just enough chew. Uh, and then the flavor, honey, I can I can season it myself. Father God, I can season it myself. I just need you to come through on the on the texture when we cook it. Yes? Okay. Um, so, anywho, this is what we're doing tonight. So, this is what the burdock root looked like. I met a lady on the airplane. This will let y'all know how much... Um, I, I enjoyed that burdock root. Honey, I was talking to strangers about it on the plane. Lady sat beside me yesterday, and I said, I was looking at the pictures as I was researching it on my phone. What The other thing, right, I never had even heard of burdock root. This is like, it fights cancer, fights diabetes. You can make soup out of this. You can make tea out of this. Honey, even if we don't get the texture right tonight, uh, but I know eventually I will. But even if we can't get the texture right for, for uh, what I'm trying to do, get some of this if you are having uh, diabetes or if, uh, cancer uh, is something that has been known to affect you. Get you some burdock root, okay? Chop it up. Put, put it up in your soup. Make a broth out of it. Uh, chop it up. Add a little bit of ginger or, or uh, something to make you a little tea, okay? Because it's stuff like this that we don't know about. But honey, I'm sure millions of years ago, or, or thousands, I don't know, millions, but they was using this, honey, to stay well, okay? So now we didn't learn something, y'all. Burdock root. It's also called gobo. Like if you go to an Asian market and you ask for it, um, you can ask for gobo or burdock root. And if your Asian market is anything like mine, take a picture, okay? Because everybody in there does not speak English, okay? So, I asked them, uh, because I know before I had went in there looking for like the little fake shrimp that they be having at the little Asian markets. And I be seeing them on the internet. And I said, oh, I can go there and find some so I can make them on the live with my folk. Nobody understood me, okay? And I know, being from the country, my daddy do this. Just because you talk louder don't mean they're going to understand, okay? That's any any uh, language barrier. Talking louder don't make the people understand, honey. You ain't saying what what the words is, honey. So take you a picture, okay? Because sometimes I know my daddy be like, 
Uh, say if we was looking for burdock root, my daddy would be like, "Y'all, y'all got burdock root," and they say, "I, I don't, I don't know." Burdock root. Do y'all got burdock root? Uh, I, 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 I don't understand. Burdock, burdock, um, and I have to be like, "Daddy, daddy," just because you say it louder, don't mean somebody gonna understand. Okay, I don't know if that's a southern thing. Okay. But just in case it's not, and it's a anybody thing, uh, please take a picture of what you're looking for so you can show the folk. Don't mean that holler and think somebody gonna understand you, okay? That's how we learn. And then maybe ask them how to say it. That's what I like to do, because I be liking to learn something. Well, hi. Okay, how do I say it? You say it, and then I, you, I try to repeat it. Like that, okay? So anywho. Um, that's that. So let's get started, y'all, because y'all know I get to talking. And we got a boil this for like 25 minutes, they say. So first off, let me get my little, let me get my little box. Don't get brand new on me, okay? Honey, Constance, honey, my daddy is hilarious, honey. He is hilarious. So, uh, as I look this up, they say there's two ways you can do this. You can skin it, like, skin the skin off like a carrot, or you can also cook it with the skin on. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm uh, that we should skin some of it off, right? Yes. Okay. So let me. Um, first of all, I'm gonna rinse them all because I just took it out the paper. Um, and just look, I got another one right here. Should we just start with these? Should we just start with these three, y'all? Huh? Crystal said. Crystal said it's not a southern thing. Her mama holler just because she can't hear well. Well, that too. Okay. That's a whole different situation. Um. So, uh, let's see. Nancy. Girl, I know. See, Nancy says she do that too. Be hollering out there in Texas. Girl, just because you holler don't mean folks understand you, honey. Because let me tell you something. Somebody holler at me in a different language that I don't know. I, I still ain't going to. The only thing I'm going to do is holler back and say, I still don't understand what you're saying, sugar. I don't understand. Like, it's, then you just got a hollering match. And then somebody think y'all fighting and, and y'all not. Y'all both just don't understand what's going on. Honey, why can't I get this paper off of here? I wonder why they wrap them up. Um, did I finish telling? Lord, hold, hold you mule, y'all. And I'm having a, oh, here we go. Did I finish telling y'all, I was telling the little lady about the burdock root on the airplane, right? And she told me, and she was from Montana. Honey, she told me, she said, oh, my God, I would have never known. And then she watching, hey, girl, she said that they used to have the burdock flowers grew crazy on their ranch. And the, the flowers are actually have these sticky things on them and used to get all in the pet's fur and stuff. And they hated these things. And they'd have to shave the animals off. It would get in the horses. And uh, so they would always try to kill those, those plants because they like weeds. She said, who knew they had roots under there that you could eat? And I said, honey, I, sh I didn't know either, honey. Y'all probably could have been rich. Hold on. I'm going to rinse these off, and then we're going to chop them down and stuff, okay? Talk amongst yourself, honey. If you're just coming into the room, honey, come on in. Uh, sit down. Make yourself at home, okay? Talk amongst yourselves and go on hit share, okay? Hold your meal. I'll be right back. Let me rinse this off. I know that fly is in here, and I'm going to get them. The shorts don't seem to have got them because I can see the fly while is still hanging up. That means she ain't did nothing. Hold your mule, y'all. Let me get my little cutting board. Make sure it's cleaned off good. Blackie, did you have a good walk, my buddy? You did? Y'all had a good little walk? I know. They don't be walking it when mommy gone, do they? Okay, y'all. Hold, hold your mule. I'm going to um, get my bird out with if you just got in here, we're doing bird eye root tonight. I know some of y'all saying, well, girl, what is bird eye root? Well, it's a root. It grow, grow out the ground. Yeah. And it tastes like crawfish or lobster or a little bit of shrimp and chicken, like all combined. I know that sounds weird, but it does. Um, let me get a good old knife. Let's see which one we want to use. Lord, my face is just a itching, y'all. Um, let's see. Is this the right knife? And look, the pieces was right thick, the ones that, that we tried. So apparently they probably use the majority of this part of the burdock root, right? 
So, this ain't the right knife tab. Girl, that ain't it. Hold on. Hold your mute. Hold your mute. Okay. Hold your mute. Let's see. Or is it just, look, it's just tough like that, ain't it? Oh, oh, there it go. Okay, so I probably got a little thing that I can shred these off, though. Okay, don't know. But I'm going to just shred it off like this. So this is what it's looking like. It's white, and they said that as soon as you cut it, you know how potatoes can get brown after you cut them and you let them sit? They was like, don't let them sit out too long. It doesn't take away from the, the nutritional value, but it does, you know, make them turn brown. So what I'm going to do is, honey, as soon as we cut them up, and cut off the little skin and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the um just so y'all can see go ahead and put it in my little water that i got over there and we're gonna season it honey we're gonna season the water honey where's my little shaver at tab you doing a whole bunch of extra work but it's all right what'd you say mama can't honey i thought that too i said i was like i probably could put these in a um in a crock pot overnight but they said if you, uh oh Wrong. I told y'all it was the wrong night. They said if you overcook it, it can get mushy. So I don't know. But I'm sure, like, you might could cook it as something, though, right? That's what I was thinking, too, girl. Honey, why is these knives not working? Is this brought out that tough? Honey, let me... Uh-uh, no, I'll tell you. Wait a minute. Hold, hold your view, honey. Tab is, honey. I been, look, I ain't cooked in a couple days, honey. Has she even forgot what she doing? Honey, thank y'all. So anyway, just real quick, while I'm chopping this up, since, you know, I ain't seen y'all and stuff. Honey, listen. Ain't God good, y'all? I don't... Uh, yes, Choice. You hear Choice coming in on the conversation, okay? Production, that's right. Where is my shaver? Honey, I don't know. I don't know. But now I got the real Choice. Well, you got this light on. Look, they look kind of different. Oh, I didn't push it on. Oh, my bad. Maybe that's why I look different. See how production oh. does this? Choice and turns on See how light. production does... But towards now the light is right in my face, shy. I didn't realize it was dark though. But I didn't you know why? Cause I'm so focused on this burdock root short. Honey, I'm so focused. So anywho. I'm girl, eat some of that um these noodles. No, we're not eating those yet. Mom, you bought two. Girl, packs. if you don't eat you some um you bought two packs get you some toys. I thought you bought the other packs I could eat some. Choice brown. Mom, no for we're real. We're gonna eat it, it girl. If you don't eat you some of them um seaweed chips that you didn't ask for. What seaweed chips? Mom already ate a bag a pack of those. Okay, now choice. What 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 have you eaten, child? Because I'm in here I trying to talk seaweed. about how good the Lord is, and then you want to come in here and try to let the devil use you and knock me off of my testimony. I'm gonna let the devil now what use is you it? Because I'm hungry. So anyway, <laughs> the Lord is good. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, I shall not want him. So, anywho, what I was telling y'all before I was interrupted, okay, was that, y'all, where is my shaver? Um, girl, honey. So, I was telling y'all, like, I was so blessed to go to New York this weekend, honey. And, I, you know, can't just say just yet. But y'all gonna see soon. I went up there to do a little shoot. Honey, look. Went over there to Abe's, honey. Got me some gluten-free muffins, honey. Them people was like family. I just loved them. Um, and then I just got to explore just a little bit. Because I went there long. And a lot of y'all I know was reaching out to me. Wanting to meet with me and stuff. But I didn't have that kind of time. Because it wasn't that type of trip. But the next time I come, honey. We're going to actually schedule something. So we can all get together and stuff. But. What, let me just tell y'all, I had some funny experiences while I was there. Hold, look, so y'all can see. And if y'all can't see it, swipe the comments and then you can see uh, how it look right here. Okay? But this is how it look. Kind of like, remind you of a uh, potato or a white carrot or jicama, something like that. Okay? So I'm going... I'm going to just keep going. Honey, this is a lot of work. I should have did this before I got on here with y'all. At least to a couple of them. I'm sorry, y'all. But we're going to start with this. Okay? So, these right here, we're going to go ahead and drop them in the water. Okay? So, we got... This is one. One, uh, one half, actually. And it's real cheap. The whole little thing was only a dollar and fifty cents. Okay? I mean, it's a root. Grow out in the wild. Somebody probably got it in their backyard. Okay? Yes? 
Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna just put him on in the water right there. And then, um, I'm gonna chop up another one real quick. So let me finish telling y'all, honey, before I was interrupted. So let me tell y'all a funny story. And then y'all know I had never been to New York, right? So, and, and we were staying out in West Nyack, right? Which is not in the city, which, which was like maybe an hour from the city um, or 45 minutes to an hour from the city. So we would have to Uber to go down into the city, right? And um, so when we got in the Uber, and you know, New York is, is a city, big city, just like Los Angeles. So when you, you get an Uber, it's a couple different people that's going to be driving you. Uh, we had, you know, one person that was uh, Haitian, uh, one person was Puerto Rican, uh, one of our Uber drivers was Asian, one of our Uber drivers was from Africa, okay? We never had one, um, like, American Uber driver, which I love. This is like a melting pot, right? So, but it's hilarious, okay, that wherever it was we were staying out in West Nyack or, um, it's called, uh, Suffering. New York. That little area is where our hotel was because that was close to where we was going. And whenever we were in the city and we, we got an Uber, nobody knew where that was. So last, was it last night? Night for last. Night for last. <clears throat> we, when we left from um, Harlem, we got us an Uber, honey. And uh, the, the Uber driver, he was um, from Africa. And as soon as he got in, I mean we got in rather, and he looked to see where we was going. He said, where is this that we are going? I never heard of this place. This is one hour, 12 minutes. And I said, well, sir, it's, it's West Nyack, New York. And I want to make sure that we all know where we're going because who don't know? Honey, I don't know. I don't know. And so he kept saying, this is not New York. He was looking around as we got close. He said, it's very dark out here. This is Connecticut. I said, sir, this is not Connecticut. Um, let's look at this GPS because if you didn't took us to Connecticut, honey, you showed up and went to the wrong place. Honey, we got there. He said, this is New Jersey. I said, sir, sir, it is West Nyack, New York. Look at the GPS. Honey, I had to look around. Like my daddy used to tell me, always make sure you know where you're going and where you're coming from. And so, thankfully, we, you know, paid attention. But, child, wherever that was that we stayed. Every Uber driver that took us out there, they was like, what is that? The, the, uh, our first, the first night we came from the airport, our Uber driver, he was like, uh, so y'all going to Jersey? Where, where, where y'all going? Jersey? Uh, Connecticut? I was like, wherever this West Nike is, nobody ever go. But honey, it was so country out there. I said, honey, I, I see why this look like North Carolina. All the years I thought that New York was this big city, and it is. But, honey, if you drive about 45 minutes, honey, it's just as green and country looking as uh, my house in North Carolina. I said, well, I'll be doggone. You learn something new every day. I mean, I know every place got a little bit of uh, suburbs and all that, right? But I had no idea. Just 45 minutes up the road, child, and you right country. So, if you're just tuning in, honey, I'm making some burnout root. And right now, I'm doing uh, some extra work which probably could be prevented had I planned for it to shave it down with a shaver. But I don't know if I even got my shaver for this right here. Okay? So if you're just tuning in, I had some burdock root this weekend that tastes like crawfish. Look, if you look at that, they, they kind of look like scallops, don't it? Yes? Burdock root. Not murdock, but burdock. That's what I said when I tried. I said, well, honey, I don't know if it's burdock, murdock, whoever it is. But we're going to see if I can get this recipe right. Hold your mute. I'm going to put this in the water. And then I'm going I'm, I'm to do one more, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn that water on, okay? We're going to do one more, and then we'll just keep doing the other ones as we go. All right? Um, Kene, you said, oh, West Nyack, N-Y-A-C-K, by Suffering, Suffering, New York. I said, is the people suffering up here? I don't know. That's a different name, Suffering. Hmm, I don't know. We pray no pain and suffering for the area. Um, so, anywho, but I love that. I met so many great people. Y'all know I don't meet a stranger, right? But I do know this. Honey, y'all, people in New York, right, busy. Honey, when they walking and stuff, honey, they ain't even looking at you and stuff. And you know, I like to look at folk and say, hey, how you doing? But I got a couple smiles back. But most folk, honey, was, they had things to do and places to go, I reckon. They didn't even see me. 
I was like, hey, hi. Oh, no, hey, oh, well, nobody, all right, both right busy up in New York. Child, nobody wanted to take time to say hey to me. But I have to remember, child. But I always try to remember. Everybody is different. But I just always try to bring a little bit of Southerness wherever I go, you know? So, but a couple of people that I did meet, and they did take time to, like, have a conversation. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I ate some good food while I was up there, child. I ate some good food. Yesterday morning, I went to Champ's Diner. But we didn't get to sit in there. We had to get to go. That's why I didn't get to post no picture. And I got some vegan. Um, they had a pancake slam. So I had pancakes with, like, the little mini uh, vegan sausages with the tofu egg scramble and um, some vegan bacon, honey. Ate it in the Uber, honey, so fast that, I mean, I can't even barely remember uh, how fast it even happened. Child, we was at the airport, and I was just putting my stuff on in the trash bag. Child, I ate the thing so fast. It was so good. I said, well, come on, champs, Donna. So it's very good if y'all ever go to New York. Two places I can definitely recommend. Well, three. Um, one was, oh, you're mute, y'all. I'm trying my best to get this done real quick. Um, the Juice Bar which I posted a little video uh, or a, a picture of my lentil soup. They make, like, vegan lentil soup. Um, starting Monday, they said they're going to have vegan lasagna, vegan chili, and they do juices, all kinds of juices, and they do the juices based on what your ailment is. So, like, stress, acne, diabetes, um, heart disease, any of those things, they, they know how to juice exactly what you need, and you can buy it like that amazing just like a little hole in the wall spot right down the street same street as season vegan just a little small spot said they opened last year amazing i'm gonna try to post a little video that i did too because i did a little video so that people can know a little bit more about it i always like to uh to showcase like places with you you might not never stop at because it ain't like some big place that a lot of people talk about and don't have a lot of recognition but i thought this is amazing. Like, people should know about it, right? Next time, go to Asbury Park, New Jersey. You can Uber. <laughs> well, honey, I'm going to have to go there. Choice, here you are again, honey. Child, what it, have you eaten today? What did you eat? Okay, well, honey, listen. Make you a little salad or get you eat your piece of fruit or something. Hold you over, okay? Sugar, because this right here got the boil for 25 minutes. Get you. You know, and then I got to put it in the stove, on the stove, and I'm going to saute it and fry it or do whatever it's going to do in the stove. Okay? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Going out here with our... It's cute. It is cute, child. Me and you both looking real young today. Honey, look at your... Look at your... Look at yours on two ponytails. Go ahead, your... Okay? Shake. Honey, it's a throwback. Okay. Uh, what is okay? So if you just came on in here, honey, we doing burdock root tonight. Burdock root. It looks like this. Like this. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, but you don't like that. It's got mint in it. Um, and this is a root that also mimics the taste of like crawfish or um. Did I say I was gonna just do that one last one, didn't I? We ain't got no, oh, girl, listen, y'all, we went to the Asian market, right, to get the burdock root. So I was went ahead and bought a whole bunch of, like, fresh produce and stuff. And I said, oh, you know what? Maybe I can give me a little bread while I'm in here, you know, because they always have, like, uh-uh, Choice, that one is, Why is it, it was frozen. I didn't do that. I just picked it up. You opened it or no? No, it was already left. Oh, put it in a bag and throw it in the trash. It's probably good. Or put it in a bag or, or, or put it in a cup upside down or something, Choice. Um... Hold me. Y'all, what was I talking about? We went to the oh, market. went to the Asian market. And so, you know, they all, they have, like, so many, like, vegan options. Naturally, like, a lot of their food is vegan. And, child, I forgot, though. I was like, y'all got some bread? And they were like, no bread. I was like, then I really thought about it. Honey, you ain't never ate an Asian meal with no bread. That ain't what they do. That ain't what they do. They don't do bread, honey. You ain't ne th Think about it. You go to like a like a, a Chinese restaurant or a Japanese like a hibachi restaurant, all that, and there ain't no bread on the menu. No. Uh uh. I said you you know what? My bad. You're right. Y'all show sure don't. So two things I forgot. 
um, that I gotta go back to the grocery store for. Honey, uh, I gotta go back to the store and get, uh, no man. Black and some dog food and some bread. Yeah. Okay. This gonna be the last one for now, y'all. Right? And then we're gonna turn it on. Right? Okay. Because don't we hope it's great, y'all? Y'all, we hope it's great. We got to, we got to pray about it. Okay? Um... Leslie, girl, didn't you hear me say, I don't know where my pillar is, honey? I'm going to get one. That's why I said if I had a thought about it. And I probably could cook this with the, the, the skin on it, but I don't want to. Not the first time. Not the first time. But, honey, yes, I'm going to get a pillar. And I think I got one. I just don't know where it is. Somebody actually sent me one. Like a new one. But I got, y'all don't even know how much stuff I got in here. All right? So, here we are. Angela, thank you, girl. I'm going to be careful. All right. So now, let's move this out the way for right now, okay? I'm going to sit it right here. Because I want y'all to see what we're going to put inside of um, the pan. I'm going to show y'all in a pair of seconds. Hold on. So, excuse me, Choice. I like to, as they call it, is it brazen when you boil but with all your seasons and stuff, I thought that was the way you boil everything, really, with your seasons in it. But somebody told me that that's called braising. I said, oh, okay. Wh whatever. Or lower heat. I'm not a chef, but that's what I heard. So, anywho, I'm going to put a little bit of the Obey in here, right? Just a little bit of the Obey. You saw the fly. Get it, Choice. Right on the trash can. Very good. Good job. Um, what'd you say? Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of this Obey. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. Not a whole lot, though, because y'all know it's salt. A little bit of garlic powder, okay? A little bit of garlic powder. Or a whole lot, because ain't no salt in it, just garlic, and I like garlic. I like it so much, yeah. actually, that I'm going to put um, uh, some minced garlic in it, too, in the water. Yeah. Put a little bit of that in there too. Mm-hmm. And I'm probably gonna actually, when I, you know, saute it on the stove and fry it up in the sesame or I'm oil, probably gonna add a little bit more garlic then. Cause why? I can do that if I want to because that's my business. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little bit of this uh no salt, uh multi-use spice. It's salt free, okay, by Lady V. It's just salt free, it's just a bunch of different spices. And I'm gonna just throw that in there because I want to. And then we got a little bit of this, coconut aminos. I got a little bit of this left from Trader Joe's, but I also got some Bragg's coconut amino, but I'm going to use this. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of that in the water. Now, let me show you. Show y'all what we're working with. Here you go. All right, so I done put it on in there. Angela, you said, have I eaten it? Chef Babette's, yeah, girl, Chef Babette, that's my girl. That's my friend. Okay, so here we are. Um... This is burdock root, and it's chopped up, and now I have put it in the water with some garlic, some seasoning, um, some coconut aminos, uh, and a little bit of multi-spice seasoning, and a little bit of obey seasoning, okay? And oh, the other thing, which is very important that I'm going to add, because we wanted to also have a little bit of a fish flavor if we it's supposed to be like a crawfish or a lobster or a shrimp or... Whatever, because that's what it tastes like when I ate it. It tastes like uh, barbecue crawfish, okay? But I bought these, okay? I know you're probably saying, what does that say? What does it say right here? I'm going to tell you, it says, um, Ajisuki Momi Nori, okay? Which is seasoned seaweed, all right? I'm imagining I probably said it wrong. But what I know I said right is seasoned seaweed right here. So we're going to put a couple pieces of this in here and let it boil in there so it can kind of take on that flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Some people do that too with um, like like certain mushrooms. Oh, I forgot. I got to show y'all that too. Certain mushrooms you can boil uh, with a couple like nori sheets. You can also add nori sheets to your, like chickpea salad when you're trying to make it taste like tuna salad. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. So, it can take on a little bit of like a fish flavor. All right? So, here we are. Here we are. So, I just put them in there and that's just going to boil it. Okay? Here we are. Now, remember, honey, 
this is the first time that we're doing this. And this is all from the spirit. So we don't really know how it might come out. But we all praying um, that it's going to come out right. And somebody asks, is the whole family vegan? No, just me and my daughters. Okay, but my husband eats um, vegan meals and my son eats vegan meals because I cook them. All right, but they also still eat uh, fish and they eat um, chicken. All right, so because we've never done this before and I feel like the Lord needs to come through on the prayer even before we turn the stove on. Okay, let's go ahead and pray over this. Uh, Father God, we just come to you, Lord, saying thank you, God. Thank you for allowing us to be back in the room one more time. Uh, Lord, I know that tonight I, I'm asking for something special, Lord. I, I know you stand to yourself. You don't even remember putting burdock roots in the Garden of Eden, Lord. But somehow, Lord, they have resurfaced. And, Lord, I'm asking you to come through on the texture tonight, God. I think I got the seasoning right, Lord, but I need you to put a stamp of approval on the texture. Let it come out right so that when I put it in the pan and fry it up and add a little bit of the teriyaki, God, it just tastes like something that I'm missing, Lord, that I need in my life, Lord. Just a little bit of... Uh, teriyaki seafood type of thing, Lord. I'm asking and I appreciate it. Amen. Okay? Yes. So let me go and turn this on. So we're going to turn it on. Let's see if the stove is going to do right. Ooh, come on, stove show out. So I'm going to put it about on seven. And we're going to set our timer. Uh, Wait a minute, Taya. Honey, what time is this on? What time do y'all got? Huh? Because I want to I want this to cook for about 25 minutes. My thing is wrong because it says 4:32. I think somewhere up in the sky my my time got off on my watch. Um so can somebody remember to go ahead and set their timer for 25 minutes? I'm going to say, mine say 4.32, so I'm just going to say at 5 o'clock on my watch, which will be somewhere between 25 and 30 minutes, that we're going to check it, okay? But remember, right then, put up the fire signs if somebody get to talking too much. Y'all know sometimes Tab get to talking and she forget that she got stuff on the stove, all right? So, yes. Um, oh, that's right, uh, cutie. I can get the little owl timer. Hold your mute. Hold your mute. Let me get that little owl timer. Hold your mute. What is it? Hold your mute. Hold your mute. Honey, where that little owl timer at? Like, what you even got into over there? Huh? Okay. Okay, girl. You the MVP, honey. I forgot we got... The little owl timer. And you know, Quest asked me, can we make some little blueberry muffins tonight? I said, you know what? Because he had basketball practice. So we're going to have to do that. Okay, just say 25 minutes right there. So we got the little owl timer. Y'all remember the little owl timer? Okay. So there we go. Excuse me, y'all. Um, Now... Oh, I want to show y'all what else I got at the Asian market. I mean, look at these. Y'all see how big these mushrooms are? These are organic king trumpet mushrooms. Ain't that amazing? We can do something with that. Now, this is actually my backup in case something go wrong uh, in that pan tonight. But, Lord, we got faith, God. Yeah, we do. So, if, if, if all else fails... I know I can throw these right here and, and, and kind of do them, uh, saute them up real quick, kind of like we do oyster mushrooms, uh, and they taste real good. Okay, wait a minute. This owl is loud right there. Tell you, oh, oh, you mute now. I'm going to sit over there to the side. I had it right there. Um, somebody said, I got some burdock root that I put in my coffee maker, mix it with a little sugar and honey. It's very good. Oh, very good candy. Um, yeah, these, honey, right, right. Uh, Dion, these are some real mushrooms. They're so big. So I bought some of these. And then I just saw these the other day on uh, Instagram. One of my girls sent me a link and I seen these. Have y'all ever seen this? It's called a wood ear. It's a wood ear uh, mushroom. It says it has a woodsy and sweet flavor with a meaty texture. They said it, it can um, taste like a bologna or it can taste like, um, what did they say? Bologna and something else. 
but but right media i said oh i never i don't i i never first of all i never seen a a a, a black mushroom like that i want to i want to open it but i ain't finna cook it yet and i don't want it to not be as fresh when i when i make it it said well it says storage instructions refrigerate uh, unused portion will stay fresh for four to six days if kept in a brown paper bag or wrapped paper towel. Huh. Cook before eating. Well, this is very interesting. It says the preparations for this, you wash these mushrooms, you pat them dry, cut off the firm portion of the base, throw it away, and then you just cook it before eating. A quick uh, recipe is you can chop it and stir fry with like hot sesame oil, ginger, sea salt, a little bit of soy sauce over some pasta or steamed broccoli. Mm. Don't that sound like something we're going to probably do about Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I never heard of this before until I seen it. But I was like, I got to try it. Can y'all really see it good? Anybody ever tried this? Huh? Y'all have or haven't? See that? I, I never would ear. And it looked like some ears. That's so crazy. I don't even know where these grow. Because it says that these are distributed uh, in Los Angeles, but it's a product of China. All right, now, is this growing in China? Or is it a product made in China? No, I'm just playing. I seen them videos how they was making lettuce. I said, wait a minute. How in the world did somebody just throw something in some water and it, it, it flipped and flipped and flipped and it came out and it was a head of lettuce? I said, oh, God. That right there makes me nervous. It does. It does. Um, so, anywho, that's that. I wanted to share that with y'all. And then this is what Choice was talking about. Now, y'all, now, this is something I do not uh, suggest people eat a whole lot of, okay? You know how oodles and noodles, we've all eaten a little bit of oodles and noodles, right, in, my, in our life. Not y'all, just me. Okay. Um, but they're so high in sodium. They're so high in sodium, the seasoning, I feel like it's probably the majority of the, the sodium. But... They were, um, at this Asian market, it's kind of like uh, an Asian Costco, okay? On every little corner, they got a little lady right there for you to try something. And today, they had the vegan, as you can see right here, vegan, um, soon veggie noodle soup. Baby, it was so good. We got our little cup, we tried it, I said, mm, now that's good, okay? Uh, and you can make, you know, like your ramen soups or... Uh, you probably can make a little pho if you want to, but it had like vegetables and stuff in it. And this was, it had a little bit of a spice. So I told Choice, I said, you know what? I'll get some of these tonight and maybe we can, uh, make a little bowl of it, you know, so you can actually put this with our, um, our, uh, burdock tonight. So that may be a little side dish. Okay. I'm still thinking on it. But I, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. That's why I chose wanted to go ahead and open it and eat it now. So, but remember, if you got like uh, high blood pressure or things like this stuff like this is not good to eat all the time. All right? Uh, it's just too much. It's just too much sodium. Okay? But you can maybe take the noodles. You know, you can get some of the rice noodles yourself and add your own seasonings and stuff and maybe not so much salt. All right? Because ain't nothing wrong with the noodles. I mean, unless you're watching your carbs. But you, rice noodles ain't as bad as like... Uh, like heavier noodles, like uh, with like your starchy noodles, you know. Um, what else was I gonna tell y'all? Oh, 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 I got some red pepper because I let me go in and chop that up while we look while we sitting here together and things. Um, honey, why, watch that bird out would be good, and I'm gonna be mad that I didn't go ahead and chop up the rest of it so we can cook it, but you know what, just enough for me right now. And maybe I get choice a little taste. And then I just cook the rest of it later if, if it work out in our favor. Yes. Um, oh, Sarah Jane, you said chicken of the woods makes great nuggets. Wait, is that what you, are you talking about this right here? This right here? I, I, I need to know. I, I missed the, the comments. What, 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 y'all bring it back production crystal that's right that's a good uh, that's a good note crystal george when you use the noodles if you want to use it use half the pack you know because the pack do be good now i can't even lie that seasoning is good um but i want you to also drink a whole bunch of water okay drink a whole bunch of water when you do that um to keep that
blood flow regulated, all right? Um, what you say, y'all? I'm, I'm trying to read the comment about that. What was making good chicken, like a chicken flavor? Is Are these uh, mushrooms, they make a good flavor like a chicken? They taste good? Somebody said, what's a good mushroom to sub for chicken? Um, I like like your regular uh, like shiitake mushrooms. But you know what? What, what? These right here, you see how thick they are? You can do this. If you season them up real good, right? You can, you know, chop it like in half, season it up real good, and then batter it, and then put it in your uh, air fryer or bake it until it gets crispy. Honey, you can do that. You can do that and have your little chicken taste. But you know, I remember my deep fried uh, and air fried rather uh, the canned mushrooms. Those is just really like uh, small shiitake mushrooms in the can. But let's if you want to do it fresh, you can try that too, and just batter them real good, and then drop them on in the air fry, honey, and eat it like chicken. Put it in a little um, a little hoagie bun like you got a little stir fry, honey. Wait a minute, do y'all smell it in here? Do y'all smell that, honey? This. Honey, this thing is over here smelling good. Did you smell it? Listen to the smell. Listen. Honey, that smell that you hear. Oh, my God. Mm. I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, 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 I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, 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 I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right be all right be all right be all right honey the way that that pan is smelling and i just realized that one of them didn't jump in the pan let me just throw it in there anyway i got a feeling that thing gonna be all right not only uh is that right there that smell Brought that song into my spirit. Honey, that's for somebody else, baby. I got a feeling everything going to be all right with whatever's going on in your life. Somebody just needed that little confirmation just in that moment. That's how God works. Sometimes he'll just bring a little bit of humor inside of my spirit. But to bring a message to somebody else. So whoever been fighting that thing, and you almost feel like you, it ain't going to be all right. You almost ready to give up. You almost don't see no light. Honey, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I got a feeling, honey. It's going to be all right. Here go your confirmation that you've been praying for, God. Thank you, Lord. It's going to be all right. Yeah. I got a feeling. Everything going to be all right. Hold your mute. Let me rinse this out. Don't you love when God sends through confirmation? That's why I tell people, you can't ignore um, the gifts that he gives us. He gives us humor. He gave, gave us a sense of humor. All right? He gave us... Uh, a sense of when things don't feel right but he also gave us a sense of when they do okay and you gotta tap into that thing so when sometimes I just cut up because you know I love to cut up but I also in the middle of cutting up God will give me a little something and say wait a minute bring that thing back round for somebody confirm it for them everything gonna be alright I know it's hard honey I know you're struggling I know that <laughs> Don't nobody seem to understand, baby. I know. But I I got a feeling everything going to be all right. I trust that thing. I believe it. If he put it inside me, honey, it's going to be all right. Yeah. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. Yes. What you say? Clean my desk off in June and finally got that new job. Oh, come on now. Come on, LaCree. Come on, honey. Yes. Y'all. Uh-oh. I hear, I hear something coming up. Look, for the folk that don't be liking to hear me do all that talking, you know, y'all know who you are, the ones that might be sending me the, the little messages saying I talk too much. This might be the time to log off because I feel something coming up in my spirit. Hold your mule. Let me uh, rinse these peppers off. Hold your mule for, for just a pair of seconds. Yeah. Blackie, I got a feeling everything going to be all right. Did you know that? Yeah, that everything going to be all right, Blackie. That's what I'm telling the people. That's right. Everything going to be all right. Let me just tell you something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, honey. Something is coming. Woo! I feel it. I hear it. Lord, Lord, I'm just trying. 
Hold your mute, father. I'm just trying to rinse off my, my thing because I got burdock on it. Hold, hold your mute. Y'all, who is this for, honey? Somebody is sitting in the flow, honey. Who's sitting in the floor, honey? Who is it? Listen, okay. Are we are all hearts and minds open and clear in this moment? Listen here. Ooh. Okay, so look. I'm just gonna chop this up while we talk. Is that all right? Yeah. This is a little plastic plate. Knife ain't gonna hurt it. Uh, I got burdock root on the other one. I don't feel like doing all that rinsing. So look. Somebody needs some help. Okay? Somebody needs some help. But your pride won't allow you to take none. I'm going to say it again. Somebody needs some help. But your pride won't allow you to take none. Honey, you don't know everything. You ain't got to do everything. When, when people offer you the help, take the help. Ain't nobody, it don't matter what you think somebody going to think about you for taking the help, sugar. Okay? God is sending you lifelines. And you steady praying, Lord, I need help. But you don't want to take the help that he's offering you. Are you hearing me? Everything going to be all right. But you got to sit aside your pride, honey. You got to stop being so mad and don't want to accept help from somebody. Accept the help. Accept the help. Honey, listen. You don't know everything, right? You ain't got it all together, and that is okay. Stop trying to have this image that I'm supposed to look like I got it going on. Because on the outside, everybody think I got everything figured out. Well, guess what? No, you don't. None of us do. Sometimes we got to accept the lifeline. Sometimes we got to say, you know what? Thank you. Yeah, I need the help. Thank you. Lord, mm. I've been going through. Sometimes we got to be honest. Okay, I, I understand faking it till you make it. I get it. I get it. But honey, you you, you so doggone tired, honey. You can barely fake it. And you thinking that you're faking it, but people didn't call on. That's why they offering you help. Take the help. Take the help. That's God sending you the lifeline. You're praying for it. Now, see, some of y'all think when you when you praying for God to help you, right, but you're so proud and you don't want to ask nobody for help, okay? So some of y'all think that it, when you're praying for it, he's just going to send some miraculous thing for you to do on your own, okay? And sometimes that may be. But sometimes the very help is a helping hand from somebody else, okay? Okay? Stop blocking your own blessings because you, uh-uh, I, I don't want them to help me. Uh -uh, I don't need no help. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? Listen, sometimes the biggest lesson that you'll ever learn is falling flat on your face. Now, ain't you already down there on the floor? Ain't you flat down? Now it's time to get up. And sometimes the only way you can get up is by somebody reaching their hand down there to help pull you back up. Take the help. I don't know, Lord, I have no idea who I'm talking to. And I ain't had no plan on talking about this. Honey, I was trying to make my bird out root. Honey, he, I, put a song in my spirit that led to this. Y'all know, things just happen like that sometimes, y'all. It just happened like that sometimes. Stop trying to be Superman and Superwoman. And take some of this help that somebody trying to give you. Okay? That's it. I love you, honey. I love you. This is my, this is my, I'm doing my part by telling you, take the help. You asking for a sign every day. Lord, God, give me a sign. God, give me some confirmation, Lord. Please, God, I don't know what to do. Honey, here it is. Take the help. And if the help has not been offered, stop denying the fact that you need help. You need it. Okay, and it's all right. It don't mean that you any less of a man or any less of a woman. You just in a moment. You just in a temporary valley. That's it. Honey, but the mountaintop is still above you. It don't mean you're going to live down in there. No, that ain't what it means. It just means right now you, 
You on your journey. And sometimes the journey, you be right here, and the next thing you know, you you down in here, and then you got to come back up. But sometimes you just need a little help. That's it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? You ain't no less of who you are. Honey, sometimes, whether you believe it or not, the moment you accept the help, you stronger than you were when you didn't want to accept it. Yeah, all that pride. I know. And look, I know that certain folk won't let you hear the end of stuff. I know that. But so what? So what? I know that's why a lot of folk don't like to ask for nothing. Because yeah, I asked him for some help. I asked him for some help. And I won't hear the end of the day. So what? So what? Prove to them something different in your walk. Now, don't take help with the objective to prove to them whatever it is. No, your walk with what you do with the help is what proves to them you are worthy. Now, let me make sure I make that clear. When somebody offers you help, okay, it is not your job to prove to them that they did the right thing by giving you the help. No, your job is to be on assignment with whatever it is you were supposed to be doing, okay? Do it, let it manifest in your life, and then they will see, wow, Wow, she she really did that thing with whatever I assisted her with. That's not for them to get the glory. The glory is that God allowed them to be the vessel to help you. So don't ever think, and if you're the person I'm talking to in this moment, don't ever think <clears throat> because you helped somebody that you are the reason that they made it to A, B, and C. No, no, no. You were just part of what when God put things together, honey, he used folk. And you were just part of... The vessel, he said, let me go through this channel to help such and such. You get no, no credit or glory, okay? So don't be that person that says, oh, she wouldn't have never did such and such. He wouldn't have never been able to buy that car if I hadn't given him the money. No, honey, you was just a lifeline that God said, let me just use you for this moment, okay? You're not the reason why nobody did nothing, okay? So don't throw stuff like that in folk's face. That's why people get so proudful and don't want to help people because people start thinking that they are the ones in control of somebody else's destiny. No, you're not. Okay? With love. I say that with love. I say that with love. Okay. So, anywho, child, I don't know who dealing tonight. Honey, I don't know who dealing tonight, but child, when I tell you he want to get this message through to somebody, child, I don't know, honey. Whoever did it, whoever going through, child, I hope that hit home for you. I hope. Oh, honey, will you look? Has it been 25 minutes, y'all? Has it? Well, look at that. Let's see. Let's see what the burdock gonna do now, honey. I'm gonna just put my fork in now and hit a little, um, check a little texture. Then we're gonna take it out. We're gonna put it in that pan, honey. We're gonna stir it up. Oh. Let's see. Honey, I can't even get one. They still, still feel right, right hard to me though. See, I don't know. I feel like they might want to go a little bit longer. Good. Don't it smell good though? You tasted it? No, I ain't tasted it. No, it ain't ready to be tasted. I'm gonna let it go for about five more minutes, y'all. Okay. Was was that 25 minutes? I put it on the little hour 25. Then you gonna make the noodles? Oh, that's a timer. Yeah, ain't it cute? When you gonna make the noodles? Honey, maybe, I, what's that, 25 minutes? Wait, let me look at my watch. Y'all, that won't 25 minutes. I'm looking at my watch, and it say 4.54. Remember, I said when it say 5 o'clock, so we still had about 6 minutes. So I'm going to let it go for about 6 more minutes, and we'll see. So when you going to make the noodles? We're gonna, well, choice. I got this pot right here, honey. When I take it out of there, I'm going to put the noodles in there so we have some of that seasoning and stuff, too. Or we can just pour it out and use some fresh water, all right? But in a little bit, honey, why are we picking our teeth on live? <laughs> What's going on, sugar? I have to get it. <sighs> Thank you, Deborah. Yeah, I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. Choice, I thought you your job was to kill the fly, sugar. It's another one? I killed I don't one? think you did. Yes, I did. Did you see him? Yes. Did you, did you pick him up with a piece of paper and throw him in the trash? He was on the, the fly spot, so I just packed Put him in the, in the trash? trash. Yes. You saw him die. Mom, yeah. Because, so I'm just telling you, I know flies, honey. They, they have a, they, they sneaky. They're act there one minute. As soon as you go, they'll fly away. Um, 
See, Candace just said it's a fly in here. See, I I'm know, telling you, I seen. One, but I killed one. Okay, let me just chop these up, y'all, real quick, honey, real quick. Choice, it's flying. Look, look, okay, look, look. Get the flash water, choice. Get the flash water. It didn't even land. Choice. Where is it at? Where is it at? You gotta find it, it and you gotta be ready. You can't wait to to see it. You gotta you gotta be ready, honey, at all time. Equip yourself, honey. Okay, y'all. So, anywho, uh, we almost there. Let me just uh, cut the rest of these peppers. Because, you know, I like red peppers because they're a little bit sweet. And we put them in our little stir fry. Well, it ain't really stir fry, but, like, when I saute, I'm going to put a little bit of red pepper in there. And I thought I want to put a little pineapple because it's teriyaki. And I bought a fresh pineapple, but, Lord have mercy, honey, do we feel like cutting it tonight? I hate cutting a pineapple, child. I'm really not even that good at it, I don't believe to make a honey, don't you hate flies? I hate them. I can't stand a fly. And listen, hate is not a word I use often, but but flies, I hate them. So anywho, but I love y'all. Ain't we family? There's no judgment in the room, is it? So, uh, Alexandra, you said I can't promote vegan cooking and and kill flies. Well, honey, let me let me tell you, sugar. Um, maybe you haven't been on here before, um, but I have also said I am not pro-fly, okay? Um, unfortunately, uh, in my house, flies do not live, okay? When they, they land on my food, they, they, they come in here un, uninvited, um, and I, I do uh, take them out of here, okay? So, I apologize if uh, you are pro-fly, but I'm not. And, um, I'm sorry. Okay? Sorry. All right? So, if you would like, though, if you want to come over here, honey, you can have all the flies that are here. If you would like to come and catch them and take them out of here, you are more than welcome to them. Yes. All right? But I, I need them gone. Yeah? All right. Honey, I can't stand a gnat either. I can't. I can't. I can't. I've never seen anybody with a pet fly. I've never. You know, I I, I love all the animals. I do. You know, if it's a if it's like a, something big, I ain't gonna try to kill. It. I try to let it outside. But a fly, honey, they don't listen. They don't. So anywho, I I hate if you're upset. But baby, that's the truth. And what I won't do is tell a lie to satisfy nobody. Oh no. Honey, this is just who I am. So I'm so sorry, sugar, if you're offended. But I am not pro fly. Um, so anywho, we got our peppers right here. All good and ready. I could have put these in the chopper, y'all, but you don't need. Um Right, Shanice. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, honey, listen, it's over. I've said it. What I said, I meant it with love. Yeah, but it's the truth. You know, that's another thing. It ain't got nothing to do with the fly. This just got something to do with life. Because people, thank you for, for saying that, because now it just brought me to something else. Ready? We can't um, tell somebody something just to satisfy them if it's not our truth. Don't live trying to satisfy somebody else when it ain't your truth. That's in anything, okay? That's in anything. People know I love I love animals. I do. Did I become vegan uh, for animals originally? No, I didn't. I came, uh, became vegan to save my life. And in turn, uh, now helping others, right? Save theirs. Um, but I cannot... Uh, lie to make other folk feel comfortable. Would I save a, an animal before a human if I seen uh, both crossing the street and there was a truck coming and I had an opportunity to save one? I'm going to save the person. That is my truth. I love animals, but I, I, I believe that I'm here to help people first. And in, in the process of doing so, we can all together then help the animals. But if I don't help save my people, then what am I doing? 
Because as much as people can help save animals, the animals cannot help save the people. Does that make sense? That's my truth. And I, I can't change that. I love, I lead with love. I love everybody. I love, the, despite what other people believe or, or feel or think, right? I don't care what religion somebody is. I love them. I love you. Don't, it don't matter to me. I'm here to, to lead in love uh, and save my people. That, that's, that's what I'm here, here to do is just lead by example. And in the process, we together, when we all be on the same page with leading with love, honey, we'll save more people and animals. Yes? That's my truth. And I will not lie about it. All right? Has it been about 10 more minutes? Yeah? That's right, Sue. That is right, Sue. Yes. Um... Thank you, Panky. Honey, I know how to use a knife. Thank you very much. But I love y'all for being concerned about little old me. Hold your mute. Honey, I can't tell y'all how good it smells in that pot. So look, I got my frying pan right here. I'm going to just go ahead and put these on in here so we can get ready. Okay? Should I go ahead and try to cut up that pineapple too, y'all? Because I really want it to be good. I really do. Should we just go ahead and just try it? Tab, yes? Okay, hold on. Let, let me get the bird off, off of there, all right? Uh, Greer, you right, honey. I'm on assignment, and I won't change for nobody. I've done it. I've done it for other people for years. I did a whole lot of living for a whole bunch of other folk trying to please other people. Those days, uh, I happily inform you are over. It is now... An assignment I'm on uh, and if it did not come from him I shall not be moved okay hold your mute let me try to get my little wood um my little cutting board cleaned off and then I'm gonna see if we can chop up some of this pineapple yes okay hold 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 your mute let me move my burdock root and then I think we'll have enough time right then to get the burdock root out the water okay yeah okay hold your mute Talk amongst yourself. So let's see if I can cut this pie. I might have to let this down, y'all. Yes? I just got a good sprinkle. Ooh, Torsten got a sprinkle, y'all. Honey, y'all want to hear the sprinkle? What you say? Oh, okay. Hold, I'm going to move this because I got to be able to have some control over this pineapple. So I'm going to sit this down and then, uh, I mean, y'all don't even know how to cut a pineapple, right? It ain't even that kind of party. Torsten's going to give y'all a little sprinkle. It's a good one, choice. Well, Choice, come on. And honey, if it's y'all's first time in the room, uh, Choice is, um, you know, she come through, she get her little sprinkles on her phone. <laughs> you said a, a disciple. Well, come on then, disciple Choice. Uh, and so she gonna share her little sprinkle. Okay? Yeah. What y'all say? Pamela, bless your heart, honey. Thank you. Oh, Choice got... Choice got her um a little sprinkle on her phone just now, so she wanna share. She said it's a good one, honey. Well, go mm -hmm. ahead, Choice, and give us one, child, because tonight has been a different night. Okay. The Lord been giving us all kinds of confirmations and things tonight. Who go? Go on here with it, child. Sit down if you need. To. Oh, oh, sit down if you need <clears throat> to. She said. Today's sprinkle is, you wanting a sign for clarity is a sign. God's plans are not designed to keep you in the loop. Hold, hold, hold on now, two boys. Hold on now, now. You got to run that back, and you got to say it about two or three times, probably, and slower. Because folk back. got to get that, okay? You, All right. You wanting a sign for clarity is a sign. Get in there God's so you can plans, see the sugar. 
are not designed to keep you in the loop. Mm. He ain't doing stuff to keep you in the loop, honey. That's why you always got to ask him for the sign. And mm. that's a sign. And Troy, do you know that that's what we talked about tonight? Signs? Signs and confirmation. He gave... Will you look on... Will you look, Troy? That's a sign. <laughs> The fly is sitting on my phone, y'all. Looking at me. Troy, you can't hit it while it's on my phone. It's going to flip the whole phone over and the live going to be dead. Troy's. Troy's. <laughs> y'all, it is not his job to keep you in the loop. That's where faith step in. You know that? You don't know. We don't know what is to come. We don't know what is going on. We don't know what he's doing all the time, honey. But if you got faith, if you got faith, honey, that's all you need. That's all you need. Troy, do you smell this pineapple? Yes, girl. Pineapple. Right. Let me just taste it for y'all. Oh. Mm. You know what it tastes like. My God, that's sweet. Mm. Good old fresh pineapple. Right there. Oh, I missed a spot. Mm. Troy, that's good. That sprinkle was good. I know. You only had one for the people tonight? Y'all, how long, um, somebody said, which Sprinkle app is she using? Oh, Emma, it is, um, the called a Sprinkle of Jesus. Sprinkle of Jesus app. Honey, and it sends you little quotes and, uh, Bible verses, just different stuff that just keep you inspired and something, look, and sometimes send you a little confirmation, honey. Yeah, it's a good little app. It has all different things on there. So check it out, honey. Tell them what sent you. <laughs> But Choice, Choice put me on it. Child, I didn't know nothing about it. Choice said, Mom, you got to see this app. I'm going to get these sprinkles, honey. I said, well, very good, Choice. All right, y'all. I got me some pineapples. Do y'all think... It's how long? Yes, y'all said about 10 more minutes, though, right? Huh? Oh, you said you wanted to taste the pineapple here. Here you go. You want to taste it? Here, let me taste it for you. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with you? Honey, silly. You know production is off today, so I had to do all the work. Oh. And so sometimes I got to do the taste testing too. Um, somebody said, Courtney, I ain't know. I look, well, you know, we just found a sprinkle app. It was just been this last year that Choice uh, been on it. So I don't know what it was doing a couple years ago, but they doing all right right now. Okay, I'm going to just put these pineapples in here. Actually, y'all, y'all know what? As I'm thinking about it, I probably don't need to put this in here just yet. I might have to take it because I want to I wanna stir fry them uh, uh, burdock roots in there by themselves first and then add this on in there because I want them to get, you know, right in the pan. So wait a minute. Let me get, let me get my other little bowl. Hold you new. Hey, but do y'all smell it? Oh my God, it smells so good in here. Lord. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Honey, I hope y'all know how much I love y'all. Oh, Abigail. So, so like, you said that's good for like a colon cleanse. Is that like as a tea? Maybe as a tea or with... You just soak it or what? Tell us, girl. That's good. Shamia, take the roots out. Okay. Let's let where, where my fork go, y'all, so I can check the tenderness. Y'all, where it go? Honey, what? Honey, I got it. Everybody, calm down, honey. I got it. Calm, calm you. How, how old are you? Let's see. Are they right now? Let me see. Let me just see how. Honey, they still feel. Still feel a little hard. It still feel a little hard, y'all. Well, I'm gonna try. Let me try one. It's too because when I had when I had it there, honey, it was chewy and and shredded. Mm -mm, that ain't it. That ain't it, y'all. I think that thing got to cook a little bit more. Okay. Honey, I need to. I need the secret to get it chewy. Get it right back on in there. It's mine. Mm-hmm. Got a good little flavor to it, but the texture ain't right. So what we gonna do? 
We're going to let it cook a little bit longer. Huh? What you think? Y'all think I'm going to just... Maybe we should turn the heat up a little bit because I ain't got it high because I was just trying to let it be slowly doing it. Uh, Tamiko, you think if we put a lid on it, you think that's going to make it? What you think? Put a lid on it? You say I think I, I should cover it. It said do it uncovered, but you think I should? Wait, you said what? Lucinda, so we going to, afterwards, we're going to saute it on the stove. So, okay, let me get a little lid. Let's find the lid. Where is my lid, child? But I want it to boil over, you know, because I, I just turned it up. Yes? What you say? Okay, let's try. Okay, okay, hold you mute. Where is my, um, I don't want to use my glass lid, but which one fit that bowl, that pan? Choice, where is my, uh, lid for this? Uh-oh. These dishes get done. I'm gonna take this out anyway because you okay, listen. Yeah. You know how when you cover it and the, the water get the boiling out sometimes? I don't want that to happen. I don't think it's that much in there. So you believe it's gonna be alright? Okay, now somebody saying no lid. Just turn it up. Okay, so we're going to keep the lid on. Once you saute it, it will soften more. Okay, Michelle, thank you. So we're going to, I'm going to leave this lid on for about five minutes. We're going to do that for about five minutes. And what I'll do in the process of that, in the meantime, I'm going to make my salad. Uh, my favorite salad I tell y'all about. Where is my... Y'all, where my onion at? Y'all, where is... Oh, here it is. Honey, where is production when you need them, honey? Where is production? I told y'all things are going to be a little bit different tonight, child. Let me grab my bowl. Hold your mule. Hold your mule. Honey, it still smells so good in here, though. Lord have mercy. Let me get my little bowl for my salad. Put this right here. Very good. Take her out. All right. Lucky, what's going on, buddy? Huh? What's going on with you? Okay. I had to wipe it down a little bit. Okay. Um. So, this is the most simple salad that I ever make. It is so good. You said add a little vinegar. It's a natural tenderizer. Ooh. Well, I put a little bit of the Bragg's, uh, not the Bragg's, but the liquid aminos, okay? Does anybody, Karen, oh, it is a burdock root, first time, honey, so anything could happen. So a little bit of spring mix tonight. I got, I grabbed this at the uh, Asian market too. But this salad is so easy to make, y'all. You get a little bit of mixed greens, a little spring mix, mixed greens, whichever one you want. You get fresh lime, okay? Some fresh lime. And you get sea salt, a little bits of sea salt, and white onion. I know, it sounds too simple to be true, but honey, it's the doggone truth. Okay? So you take, and I don't like using my chopper for the onions because you like the onions to be like nice, like, you know, like round slices, not chopped up. Okay? So, you know, good pieces. Where my knife go? All right, I promise you, this right here, and some of y'all done tried it after I told you, ain't it life changing? Honey, that lime juice, it do something. Now, I might get to crying in here, honey, because of this onion, but I'm gonna try to be quick about it. Be quick about it, be quick about it. Um, Hold your mute, I'm gonna show you. Everybody relax, calm down, hold your mute. We're gonna see, honey, what this burdock will do. And in the meantime, we know we're gonna have a good salad, and we're gonna make them noodles, too. Okay, and see what what all comes about. Now, use the white onion because um, red onion is a different flavor. 
But the white onion is something about it with that lime. I mean, you can do red onion if that's what you want. But this that lime with the white onion, baby, it's life changing. Because y'all know I love a good old red onion too, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, Tamiko, you said three minutes? And take the lid off? Okay. Jacinda, you know what? Sometimes I do rinse it off, but then it be so uh, soggy-like. So I'm going to put that lemon juice on it. And this one, woo here go the tears. We're going to pray over. But you can definitely do that. Rinse off that salad, child. But it's all right. I'm going to pray over this salad tonight, child. But you can definitely rinse it off. You do, look, because that's your business. Honey, here go the tears, y'all. Woo, these onions. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Ha, ha. Why y'all let me do that? Check it. Should I turn them off? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that C-Chellis? Honey, thank you for telling me that. Uh, out them already burning to, to rinse the onion with cold water before. Honey, you told me a day late and a dollar short of it. But I showed enough to remember that next time. All right? So we put the little lime juice. Oh, and olive oil. Lord Jesus, please let me have olive oil. Lord. Oh, my God, y'all. I ain't got no more olive oil. That is what makes the dressing on the salad. Olive oil. And didn't that happen last time, y'all? See, I've been traveling too much and forgot the doggone olive oil. Don't tell Trust, But you know what we bought tonight that she wanted to try? I guess we're going to try this tonight then. Since we're doing a little... This is um, yuzu citrus flavored dressing. Right here. Right here. This is like a little Asian dressing. Yuzu citrus. Um, It just has like water and soy sauce and... Uh, a little bit of vinegar, a uh, little bit of, uh, what is it called? Y yuzu juice. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, we can't use this. Choice. Choice, she went and grabbed this. She was like, Mama, yeah, it only has soybeans and wheat. She just read the contains at the bottom. But what did I just read? It has chicken protein it's in it. Choice, we can't use this, uh, honey. Didn't read this part. It got chicken protein in it. Ooh, I know my eyes are watering. What does that say? Hydrodized pork child, no ma'am. We can't use that. And guess what? We ain't got no olive oil sugar for the salad. I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna have to make a run to the store and get you some. Um. Pam, honey. Well, I don't know how much sharper that knife can be, honey. Um. Oh, honey, I'm getting all kinds of. Uh, you can put the onion in the freezer for a short while before you cut it, honey. How, who knew? I didn't know that. Mom, I'm getting all kind of idea. Avocado oil. Great. I um, I only got a little bit of sunflower oil and sesame oil in there. And I don't want no sesame oil on the salad. And I'm, I, I don't have no avocado oil. I'm out of it. Recheck the texture on the root. Thank you. Okay. Where am I? Holy mew. This is the most important thing tonight right here, child, is this. Let's see, y'all. It still feel a little... Feel like a potato. This is gonna be so good. They can't... This can't be all they doing to this. Boiling me for a few minutes. I think I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all, and I'm gonna have to soak these overnight or something. It's a little bit softer, but not really. Let me show it to y'all, okay? Oh, choice. Would you, what, what, well, sugar? <laughs> I mean, it's probably a great can soup. Taste one? So I can see the texture. Choice, the texture ain't right. That's still. How long is it in the I try it and I am going to, I'm going to try to saute it, but it ain't right, sugar. It ain't, it's, it's, it's like chewy. Like yeah, and that don't, it feel like it's a, um. Carrot? Yeah, not even soft as carrots. Get out there, you boil them. You said, can Choice drive to the store? Choice has her learner's permit, so she can only drive with somebody licensed in the car. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. So, it ain't right. 
to me. The texture don't feel as right as I would like. But we're going to go ahead. Um, and I'm going to maybe saute it in the, in the stove. We'll do something to it. Yeah. What you say? Ooh, that sounds good. Seasoned vinegar and minced garlic in the blender. Girl, I might do that with the salad. Um, Shamika, I know I'm going to have to end up doing that, soaking them overnight. But I didn't want to shred them. The pieces that they had on that sandwich was like, they was like square pieces, honey. I just feel like something else in my spirit is telling me they got they do a little something else that I just don't know about. It's a little hidden method that she does. Uh-huh. She don't want to share. And I get it. That's a famous recipe. But honey, Miss Chef at Season Vegan Baby, just tell us just a little something. That's all. Um, I know our Alicia, is that how I say your name? Girl, I might be having to do mushrooms. You're right. But let's just see. Look, I might chop up the mushrooms with it and just saute it all in there. Okay. So I'm going to make an executive decision. Hold your mute. And I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And I'm going to put them on. Let me drain them. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in the pan. 